Tomorrow is going to be the most important day of this entire year for cryptocurrencies. If you take a look at the charts today, the market crashed really bad, pretty bad, actually not super bad, but a lot of altcoins did not look too good today. However, I have some very good news for you guys today. The market is bouncing up and tomorrow is CPI also fed. The Fed, Jerome Powell is going to tell us exactly if they're going to raise rates, cut rates, keep rates the same. And most importantly, he's going to give us his economic outlook and what the Fed is likely to do regarding interest rates. Tomorrow is going to be absolutely critical with CPI. But what's interesting is what will typically happen with cryptos is before the Fed meeting, um, this particular event that's happening tomorrow with the rate decision, and before CPI, several days before, the markets will always crash. Every, the last many times, three, four, or five times, I think, the market about five days before will start heading down, crashing. People will de-risk, sell their crypto stocks. So the market will go down. And the day of, or really, really soon after, the markets always rebound and bounce up and pump. So I'm expecting a pump within the next 48 hours for cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin and cryptos are starting to bounce very strongly right now. And that's a good thing. And the funny thing is, is the dollar is starting to crash. Stocks are literally 0.1% away from breaking all-time highs, the S&P 500. We are not in a bear market. We are in a bull market. It's been a very long consolidation. Bitcoin has been consolidating for over 100 days, which is not necessarily very normal, but it is a little bit strange. But it happens. Bitcoin does have long consolidations before it continues to pump and before altcoins and cryptos continue to make new highs. So that's very normal. We are in a correction. Bitcoin is down, I think, 5-7% from its recent high. It's not a big deal. Altcoins definitely have suffered a lot more. And that's just the fact. But let me share with you guys my thoughts. What is going on with the charts for all cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, altcoins. I think right now is a great time to buy altcoins to hold them to DCA and wait for this next leg up in the bull run, which is about to take place potentially starting tomorrow. Let's get into it. So if we take a look at Bitcoin here, let me go to the daily time frame. Bitcoin is from our current position 9% away from all time highs from the recent high of 71, almost 72,000. We are down about 7%, a total of 8%. So an 8% correction from the recent highs. That is pretty significant, um, but pretty normal. If we zoom in a little bit here, let me show you something that Bitcoin is at support. Bitcoin is at support and we did take and create a new low from this support, which is very bullish. So we tapped into the liquidity. We're hitting a strong bounce here with Bitcoin and that's happening also with Ethereum. If we take a look at Ethereum here, we can see that Ethereum is starting to bounce up and we've bounced up already almost two and a half percent. So that's pretty good there. Altcoins are bouncing up as well. But look at this, the S&P 500, look at 53.83. So we are literally, did we, uh, let me go to the daily time frame here. Yep, today we broke all time highs. Again, for the stock market, if we zoom out here, today we broke all time highs for the stock market. That is not a bear market, breaking all time highs nearly every single day the past five days. That is not a bear market, ladies and gentlemen. The dollar, look at this, the dollar was pumping very, very strongly, but now it's starting to pull back. And it's probably gonna come to this level, the DXY. And when the dollar goes up, cryptos go down. When the dollar goes down, cryptos go up. So tomorrow, CPI, which is going to be 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, the time is all messed up, so I'm in Europe. So disregard this time. I don't know why it says 6.30, but it's going to be 8.30 a.m. New York time. The core P CPI, CPI is coming out. And then we are going to have the federal funds rate, which I believe is going to be 2 o'clock Eastern. So 2 p.m. Eastern federal funds rate, FOMC economic projections, and the FOMC statement. 
And we also have the FOMC press conference 30 minutes after that. So 2 o'clock, we have the statement, all this stuff coming out. And then 2.30 is when there's going to be the press conference. So there's going to be so much volatility tomorrow. It's going to be absolutely insane. What's going to direct the crypto market over these next few weeks is this number here. The forecast is 0.3%, 0.1% here, and then 3.4%. You see these numbers here, if they come in lower, if they come in lower than these estimates here, the crypto market is going to pump bigger than your possible imagination could ever imagine. So that's what is likely. If we come at these numbers here, which is at expectations, um, we will probably get a very bullish reaction, in my opinion. And the federal funds rate is going to likely stay the same. That's there's nobody predicting that that's going to change and what that essentially means is that they would be cutting rates or raising rates tomorrow it does not look like that either of those will be a possibility but if they ended up cutting rates tomorrow the crypto market would pump so hard so fast the stock market as well that you that kraken and coinbase they would break they would literally break but that is probably a very 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 unlikely chance but I do think that they are probably going to end up cutting rates faster and sooner than people will end up expecting. So that's what you can expect tomorrow. These are the times and it's going to be really important. However, there is a bearish scenario. If the data comes in way hotter than expected, um, that's going to be quite bearish for cryptos. But we're going to have to see if cryptos react in a bearish way. Um, and that's going to certainly determine what this could actually be tomorrow. So we will have to see. But I personally think the market is going to have a bullish to neutral reaction tomorrow with the data. The data should come in at expectations, probably under, but I think that we should expect it to come at expectations, which the market will have a neutral to bullish reaction. Um, what's also going to determine the market after that, if we get like a neutral uh, at expectations reading tomorrow with the federal funds rate and the economic production projections is whatever is in that statement if it says anything different from what they've been reiterating the market will react in a bullish or bearish manner also in press press conferences certain words will trigger the algorithms um, of the people that are actually moving the markets bitcoin and cryptos so we have to watch out for those so if the market is like really bullish uh with cpi and then the FOMC statement, but some type of word comes out in the press conference, it could dump the market quickly and then rebound. So there's going to be a lot of volatility, but we are not predicting or projecting that there should be anything crazy with FOMC. What's going to be very important and can help the market to pump really hard and really fast is if we get a cooler than expected CPI. Now make sure you guys are in my Patreon. We are up in massive profits today with the alerts that we came out with today. Leverage trades are up in profit. The spot alert is up in massive profits. You guys do not want to be missing out on these profitable trades every single week. As well, you need to be using Algo Sniper, which guess what? Gave a sell alert before the crash on Bitcoin and every cryptocurrency before the market crashed. I highly recommend that you guys try Algo Sniper today. Just for $1, you guys can test it out on TradingView. As well, make sure you guys are trading over on Blowfin, which is the platform that me and my community use to trade on. You can trade cryptos up to 150X leverage and they're giving away $5,000 in deposit bonuses. That's gonna be it for this video. So if you guys got something out of this video, consider giving this video a thumbs up subscribing with notifications on and I'll see you later.